Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about case statement uh, in Kusto. This is a pretty much same way what you have learned in other languages. Uh, so not a big difference, uh, but we are going to experiment and see how exactly it looks in Kusto. So case statement uh, now evaluates a list of uh, predicates and returns the first result uh, expression uh, whose predicate is uh, satisfied. So if uh, neither of the predicates are returned true, the result of the last expression, the else is a return. So that's a very basic definition of what is there. So in this case, uh, what we are doing here, uh, we are creating a table called the customer. I'm using a customer ID, first name, last name, and salary. So let's create this table and insert some data. So now we are going to go ahead and insert some data into this uh, customer table. Now, how you are going to write uh, this uh, case statement? Uh, so first of all, uh, let's say I'm uh, uh, reading everything from customer. So I just uh, select the customer table and uh, just paste it there. And then I use uh, the pipe sign here and use the projector. By using projector, I can select the columns I would like to select. Now, in this case, I'm selecting these three columns. And then uh, I can uh, use uh, another column. I can use comma here. And then I can write uh, my case statement uh, on the next line. Uh, see right here, I'm saying ID state. Uh, and then uh, I put equal to. It means I'm creating a new column for my case statement. Uh, now, I'm using keyword case and then have a parenthesis. Uh, so this is starting parenthesis. This is ending parenthesis. Uh, now, inside that, your conditions are going to be there, and then what you would like to present. Uh, here, I'm saying customer ID less than 3. If that's uh, true, then print uh, less than 3. For which value? For ID state column. Okay. Now, if uh, that's uh, not happening, if ID is not uh, less than 3 and this is not satisfied, then go to next condition. And next condition, I'm checking if customer ID is equal to, equal to 4. If that is true, print uh, the value say equal to 4 okay that's uh, if that's also not true then uh, at this is the last uh, greater than 4 or anything okay so that can be minus uh, as well so it is my choice whatever i would like to present so this is else part of it that's it so very simple now you see there that's we created a new column equal to sign then provide the case statement here inside that we are checking our first expression and if that's true providing the value then we are comma going for the second expression if that's true we go for this one and if uh, this is not true then uh, none of them are true then we are going to go for this guy okay so let's execute together now in this case uh, you see first name last name and customer id here customer id is uh, one two and then we have a uh, three right so here see customer id is less than three okay if this condition is true yes so it is a printing less than a three now we are checking for second condition and we're saying less than three yes that's true as well now three three does not qualify for either it's not equal to equal to four so and also this does not qualify for this one it's not less than three so it ends up in the greater than three or anything okay so that's uh, where it ends up and if uh, which value is four see right there customer id is four equal to four is printed and then four four and five and all that uh, we have greater than four and all now if i want to be more like oh i should have equal to sign so these uh, values are like one two three then uh, it should be less than or equal so equal to three okay so you can always play with that and uh, whatever works for you you can do that see one two three so i printed this part of for the four i printed this and then anything be after that i'm just saying greater than four so this is how you will uh, play with your uh, case statement uh, now let's go to a little more real world and uh, provide some uh, demo on this so here i'm going for salary in this salary i'm saying that so uh, customer give me everything from customer see right there all the column then i'm using pipe sign here and then i use the word extent so it is extent or extent whatever it is <laughs> i don't know <laughs> so go ahead uh, maybe you have better uh, accent than me uh, so you might want to search out this is extent so anyways extent uh, what it does uh, it add an extra column at the end of the, these columns uh, okay so it is going to show us all these columns and then add a new column or so in this case uh, what name of that column is going to be salary type okay and then i'm saying equal then writing my case statement so it is uh, i'm adding a new column at the end by 
putting this value there okay now with the case uh, what I have here I'm saying if salary is less than equal to 2000 so that's where like this one this one and this one or I'm checking if uh, it is is null okay so I'm checking if my salary is less than 2000 or it is null in this case uh, uh, it, there is null value right there then what you need to print uh, you need to print uh, salary status is equal to very low okay salary type okay so you are going to print a uh, very low then go for next uh, condition and check uh, if salary is greater than 2000 and salary is less than 4000 so i'm giving a range between that so i'm saying if it is uh, greater than 2000 and less than 4000 i'm not putting equal to equal to sign here so i'm going going for 2001 2000 and less than and then i'm going to exact 4000 number then it's a medium okay and otherwise whatever the value comes if it comes to 50,000 60,000 that's the last condition I'm saying good so whatever the rest of the values are just print good for it it could be let's say if there is a uh, yeah that that should be do it so let's go ahead and execute this here and now you can see that according to the condition we have a first condition here salary less than equal to 2000 that become two right there then we have a uh, less than two uh, five uh, less than two thousand true again here and then we have uh, this uh, null value that also it become the true part of uh, this condition and that's why value is printed very low now we go for medium here and medium is the four thousand equal to four thousand or greater than two thousand so we don't have a whole lot of other numbers but only four thousand so it is uh, this one and then we have another one that is greater than 4000 that's 50000 that ends up in this bucket and that's we printed good salary okay or high salary whatever you want to do that so this is how you will use a case statement in kusto and write and create different columns depending on the existing values and conditions i hope this video is helpful i will put the code in the description you can take from there and experiment thank you very much for watching please subscribe subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in next video.